Spring Hustlers. It's Bruce from Quintavo, Simple Shop Management Software. We had an incredible, an incredible conference this past weekend. I want to thank everybody for coming out. It was absolutely amazing to spend so much time. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick summary of some of the things that we went over. We're also going to be releasing a lot of the video to the content, so that'll be up on YouTube soon. So first, Matt Williams from Martin Agency, former CEO there. Absolutely amazing about how he talked about brand in a commodity-based business. I think the biggest takeaway here is that your brand is a culmination of every single experience the customer has with your business. That's how people answer the phone, the way your business card looks, your website, how people talk to others, how the shirts open are in the box when they're open in the presentation, to how the customers come into the store and what they feel, what they smell, what they do there. So that was a huge, huge takeaway and something to really consider as you build a company long term. We also had Jeff Milander from Redwall Prints. He's got almost a 100,000 square foot facility in Milwaukee area, Wisconsin. He was talking about really how he grew his business to have 15 autos, really, really large contract-based screen printing shop up in Wisconsin. And he started a very similar story to many of you guys. He was in a band, started printing in his basement, and started to keep growing from there. A lot of his growth seemed to be fueled from buying companies that went out of business or equipment that was heavily discounted because the owners were discontinuing or closing the shop. So he continued to grow off that. It seemed also that he bought a lot of his equipment and then because it was highly discounted and then went and found a lot of customers to be able to fill that press and keep it moving. So that was a bit interesting as some other methodologies have. Well, I want to up the sales first before I spend equipment. Another thing that Jeff talked about was that he also paid cash for everything. He grew his business very naturally and didn't do that off debt. He also continued to scale up facilities by purchasing the warehouses as real estate is a big side passion for him. So for each facility that he bought with real estate, he was able to increase his investment there. And when he sold it, he actually had a good ROI from that too. So that was very interesting. He's got an incredible business again, Redwall. Next was George Wachowski from ShipBob, one of the co-founders there. He was talking about fulfillment when you're ready for a fulfillment partner. Usually he was talking about how if you're over 100 orders a month, it may be best to look into a 3PL partner and what to really look for. You know, Amazon has really been able to change the space with uh, this two-day shipping standard in a way. And when people order a good, you know, you start to think, if I get this in a week, that seems kind of crazy just because of how dominant Amazon has been with its two-day shipping. How can you achieve that for your retail experience? George dove into that and how ShipBob actually places different warehouses very specifically around the country to be able to achieve that two-day shipping in all different states. So that was very interesting there at shipbop.com. Next, we also had Shelby Craig from Rocket Shirts. He's the owner and marketing guru there. He really wowed people with a lot of his marketing expertise around Facebook advertising. Facebook advertising has been kind of difficult, I think, for a lot of people to be able to dive into, but it's such a big undervalued market. Facebook ads, obviously you can be able to target people by location, gender, interests, title, all, all this different type of characteristics. And it seems that it's been tough for folks to be able to get those to convert. Now, Shelby spent the time really learning how Facebook ads truly, truly work. And he's been able to soup up his custom and retail business with Facebook ads to a crazy amount. You could listen to one of our previous podcasts with Shelby about how he generated $80,000 in t-shirt sales. This guy is a, a real growth hacker. He's got a marketing plan that you could find off rocketshirts.com where he can help other shops do the same, but he really dove into setting up your ad, you, what type of text, how your offer is so important. What are you offering them? Is it time sensitive? Because it should be. The image, how you should probably use video versus imagery. He also talked about converting. If you can't measure these results, you shouldn't be spending the dollars. And being able to increment and get into ads slowly and continue to build up until you've saturated it and it won't work anymore. So that was very, very interesting. You'll be able to hear that talk too. So we also had Kevin Ballmart from Hyrology. He's a VP of business development there. He was talking about sales and training. Kevin has a huge experience around hiring, selling, training, just managing a big team and growing it. He really talked about creating a hiring process. 
you know, can't emphasize enough about how much that can help save time. I think with a higher turnover type of shop with a lot of team members, you need to make sure that you're having a workflow where he talks about is very standardized with hiring types of people. So what questions are you asking? How are you grading those people? Are you doing a phone screen, then another phone screen, then an in-person interview, then a background check. He really got into the nitty gritty of the different steps and to make sure that you write that down so that you can grade everyone equally and it isn't kind of a, well, I really like that guy or I didn't like her type of process. It's really numbers based. So that, that was really great and I think is something too that we don't do enough of to make sure that, you know, we kind of ask, oh, around the family, does somebody know somebody, which is great, but it doesn't dive into making sure that these people are very quality and top notch because you know they're owning a part of your business, right? So you want to make sure that they're the best possible person for that role. The Becker family, Sue, Christina, and Dan uh, drove all the way in from Jersey Inc. to talk about culture in your shop and how they maintain a really fun culture for everyone to be able to work in. They do kind of a trial run with everybody to see if they're a good fit. They really see if they want to work there. They're a very family-based organization, so they have a lot of fun. Christina especially has been very good at social media and talked about how social media has become a brand for the business and gets new hires excited about wanting to work there too. You should check them out on Instagram actually. They, they create some really good content. Adam Cook, our onboarding lead at Printavo, talked about getting the most out of new hires and new hire training. This is a little bit also based off of what Kevin was talking about too, in making sure that you're standardizing your new hire process. How many of you guys really have a, a kind of handbook of this is what happens the first week when you start to print out and give them? Probably not very many, right? Now this is gonna make it so much easier though to do. It's actually something we did at Printavo and we sat down, we literally locked ourselves in a room for about four or five hours and knocked it out. So we actually said, okay, day one, first 15 minutes, we're gonna walk around the office, I'm gonna show you everything. Next two hours, we're gonna talk about the team culture, what it means to be here, why we work for our company, and your role. And then we dive into a lot of the tools that we use, how we communicate, how we write to customers, how we talk to customers, what the brand is about, and keep going down through all of those specifics we wrote it down and created a schedule. Adam displayed that too. And it really helps standardize and make training a lot, lot easier and less time consuming. Matt Marcotte joined us from TNJ Print Supply, a very knowledgeable uh, sales consultant there at TNJ. Talked about cross training and industry trends. Matt has so much knowledge in the area after running a production shop at Target Decorated Apparel for a while. He talked about how he handled cross training and recommends how other shops handle cross training too. He actually created what's called a passport. It's like a piece of paper that he printed and he gave to everybody to keep. And so they get stamps as they go around and are able to learn the different roles and they start to see how they fit more and what they like to do. Justin Moore actually talked about a survey that he asked people about what type of role would you like to be in and how do you feel about the role you're in now and to see how people are feeling and if they're happy and, and how also having a shop in the city or a metro city with a lot of different new hire potential and one in the suburbs now where they're at also affects hiring and how cross training has been very important to keep people fresh, keep their minds moving and keep them happy too. Steve Farrag wowed us with a lot of his automation that he's got set up in his shop. He truly uses virtual assistants, which he found off Upwork.com, Zapier.com to connect all Printavo and different apps together to have everything talking and to help train his staff using all these video recording tools like loom.com, L-O-O-M. So that was really neat to be able to see. He essentially takes anything that is repetitive that is happening and extracts it to try to figure out how he can automate it with either someone overseas as a virtual assistant or using software to be able to, to do. So very cool. Ryan Moore talked about dreams, goals, and creating habits. He made two songs that he actually sung to us with this guitar. Very, very cool. Ryan was really digging into dreaming big, making sure that you create positive habits every day, and writing down your goals that you want to achieve on a long-term and short-term basis. So literally going in, like I do now, and being able to write down what you want to be able to do, 
knocking it off and being able to see how you are achieving that and stay on course every single day and having those year-long goals and keep shooting for that. I went into a little bit of our roadmap next and was talking about how we're getting into printable merch, how we're getting into improving messaging, customer credits, and uh, some different uh, new functionality that Printavo is, is adding over the next year here. We're really excited about a lot of these improvements and you'll be able to see these coming on live as Printavo merch beta is being released very soon. Justin Moore next was talking about managing time while growing your shop. Uh, he really dove into just being very honest about some of the problems that they have and how he's extracted himself from the day-to-day -day operations to being more of a leader at the shop. He was talking about really how he creates as many processes as possible because, so the quote that he said was, what if you train someone and they leave, but what if you don't train someone and they stay? And that really shifted his thinking to make sure that he spends enough time with his team training them and making them quality team members to be able to contribute back to the business. He also talked about creating SOPs and process improvements so that he can help keep moving forward. So anything that he's doing, um, he'll create a roll around and be able to extract himself to the next level and continue to manage the business from the top down. Next, we have Justin Lawrence from Oklahoma Shirt Company. His shirts as a subscription talk, very, very neat. Justin has built a shirt of the month model where people subscribe to monthly. They pay about $13 a month for an Oklahoma-based t-shirt that they design and ship. And he's got an unbelievable amount of subscriptions that he's built over the years right in Oklahoma and talking about how he's expanding into other states now too and some lessons learned. He also really focused on just simplicity of the product. You know, should he offer long sleeve or just keep focusing on short sleeve and how over time, how to continue increasing growth and sales through that and how he's used that retail aspect to funnel business into his custom so that he can really diversify his business revenue and be able to continue growing. So that was very cool and very real and honest about the difficulties with subscriptions. I think a lot of folks feel that, oh, this could be very easy. I could just be generating revenue and not doing anything. Justin really dives into how there's so much customer support. There's a lot of dealing with um, prepping artwork and getting ready for that, how you know setting up the website and get everything connected to be able to handle charges and what happens when a lot of credit cards can't even be charged every month and going through the process there. So very neat insight into Oklahoma Short Company. Last but not least, we have our own engineering lead, Peter, who talked about how engineering is chained up. And he gave an inside look into Printavo merch, which we're really, really excited about, which helps shops not only be able to do fundraisers, company stores, and group orders right inside Printavo, but fluidly in their current Printavo workflow too. We just really automated a lot of the whole store process to make it super, super simple. And we're really excited to be able to get that beta out so that everybody can start using it. All right, guys, we can't wait for 2019 Printel Swiss Conf. It's going to be so, so exciting. We are just getting going. We're really, really looking forward to all the content that we're going to have next year and seeing all of you guys again. Have a good one.